Hello, everybody. We are back with a celebrity, a request. You guys requested for Kiki Palmer. So we're going to be looking into her. We have three questions that we're going to be answering today. How does her relationship look with her and her mom? Is her boyfriend using her for money or clout? And we want to see if there's any energies connected between her and Timothy. Timothy... How you pronounce his last name? Chalamet. I think that's how you pronounce it. Sorry if I didn't say it correctly. Okay. So, one thing I just wanted to get off my chest is that, um, why do I feel like Kiki is on a, um, on a treadmill? Just not going anywhere. She's moving. She's active. She's talking, she's working, she's using energy. Um, I mean, she's alive, she's ticking, she's moving. Cardio is going. Even at times, she's sweating. But I don't have her making it anywhere. That's, for some reason, that's not a destination. And um, I think that has a lot to do with her and her business and contract mom included um but i don't have her going up i just got her going in a circle and let me tell you something it's safe it's very safe for her right now so maybe more might come out when we get to the mom but um i could definitely feel the heart pumping and beating and she looks great with her active wear on and she is moving, but there's no destination to where she's going. And and that's how things look for her overall. From finances to career to relationships, everything and everyone, everything in her life is under the rainbow. And I think this is a safe place for her. Somewhere under the rainbow. Why did I just hear that? Mm. Well, you might want to go look at the lyrics to Under the Rainbow. Because I think that's exactly what I'm trying to say about her. I got her knowing that it's more up there or out there. But at the same time, she'd rather stay under it. Okay? So when it comes to her relationship with her mom, it's amazing that you ask because they're going into a new place. So they're going into a new transition. Mom is about to pull back a little bit. I got separation here. It does not feel bad, but I do get some separation here. I got the control being released. Or maybe this has always been a, des a desire for her. So let's look deeper into that. But a transitional stage is coming here in their relationship. I didn't get any love. I didn't get any passion. But they saw it. Um... They are down-to-earth, loyal friends. They're more than friends. Best friends. Yeah. I got them as the same age in the spirit. I got them as girlfriends, best friends, loyal to the end. I got this 90s type vibe about both of them for some reason. Like, if you fight, I'll fight. And if you fight, I'll fight. It's just kind of like that. Um, a lot of laughter between the two of them. But they're both um, having a hard time separating from each other. Yeah, this is so much protection here. So they up to transition again. This is, okay, this is a repeated pattern. Yeah, this is, okay, so let me tell you what's going on. This may not even happen, but there is a season that is coming up very, very soon where um, there will be different situations that happen, or there may be some spats, or there may be um, somebody giving up. But this is just a conversation of, okay, well, I'm not doing it no more, then I quit. I'm not going to even worry about that. I was trying to help you. This is a moment of, well, I'm not touching that no more. You do it. But the truth is, they're getting right back together. 
I think they have had these moments a lot of time where the mom probably says, I'm bagging out, and she may bag out for a little while, and then come right back in. Yeah. I don't know how this got like this. It's more than mother-daughter. It's more than that. It's codependency. Both of them have towards each other. They've been doing a great job staying away from, I don't know, the boogeyman. They've been doing a great job. It's working. Whatever they're doing, it's working. Uh, let's look right here. Yeah. There are some options here in business for them to change this relationship, which will be... Um, separating or causing more space between each other. They may have the conversation, but they're not going to do it because they work well together. The mom has a quitting spirit here, but I just think this is something she say when she may have messed up or caused pressure on Kiki. She just talks about quitting or she's going to stop or I'm not going to run that no more. Uh, you do it. But that's not the truth. This is her life. Her life is Kiki life. I can't see her separating at any time. So this is kind of bittersweet. Counseling is needed. Therapy is needed for them too. They got some moments here. They're not in the title of mother and daughter. I Actually, I feel like Kiki is the spiritual mother and the mama is the physical protector. Yeah, that's how this feels here, which makes them a great combination because I have them in a safe place. Safe place, safe place. What is a safe place? Hmm. That's something else. Do you know who I just saw? I just saw Sister Sister. Um, T and Tamira. And their mama. They have a the same type of relationship. They connect some kind of way. They, they mimic each other. So the mother of those twins and Kiki's mother and Kiki, their relationships look alike with their children. So... I still didn't get any feelings. <laughs> I have no feelings here. It's loyalty and business. Loyalty and business. One more time. Okay, so I don't have a lot of feelings here. <laughs> Maybe a little strange. I don't know how they express themselves. I don't know if they're very emotional towards each other. Maybe they're not so touchy-feely. Maybe they're just verbal and, and have a sense of knowing about each other. I get this hard, hard feeling um, to express them. I wish I could express them more for you. Yeah, I really can. I really wish I could, but I can't. Um, okay, well, let me try this way. In the spirit, they look like friends and then best friends. Loyal, laughter, down to earth. I got this 90s vibe about them as if they did dances together or something. I even have like handshakes and different types of fist bumps and they got their own handshake. This is the type of vibe that they give me. Um, laugh and joke. It's a lot of laughter, and but it's not a lot of intimacy. And I guess that's how they protect themselves. But together, I have them in agreements of what they're doing. And they are the... I just saw red light, green light. <laughs> I just saw Squid Games. I've been watching that lately. So that could have popped up because of that. But I kind of got this red light, green light. Like they hold hands and they run out there in Hollywood. And they get as many apples as they can. And they freeze. It's got this boogeyman feeling. And then I got them under the rainbow. Got the mom as the protector. But sometimes Kiki wants to transition. Sometimes uh, spirit is calling Kiki to create a new relationship with mom. 
And when she tries to do that, mom, instead of mom saying, okay, let's compromise and negotiate, I got mom saying, I quit, I quit, I'm stopping, I'm letting go, you do it, you do it. But that's not what Kiki's asking for. She asking her to turn down and release a little. Kiki can't release a little. It's going to be all or nothing. And to tell you the truth, I don't see Kiki releasing her mom. I don't see Kiki getting into this emperor position. I don't see Kiki playing red light, green light by herself. I don't see Kiki um, being able to do none of this alone. So this is working for them. Yeah. Then I just heard twins. So that's what I was missing when I brought up Tia and Tamara. Okay, maybe that's why it feels like they're friends and then best friends because they're actually twins. So I got this Gemini energy on both of them. They are twins. This is what they are meant to do. And um, it's really helping them stay away from whatever it is that they know is out there. This is a safe place, which makes sense because as I was meditating, I felt like she was doing this cardio treadmill thing, but not never getting off. So they have found a way to go out to the forest, to go out to the garden and take what they need and make it back before whatever happens. They make it home in time. Um, staying away from danger. So that's one thing I want to say. Let's get into her and Timothy. No, there is no sexual connection here. There is no divine connection here. N no, and no, and no. But I do have a mothering um, empress between them two. Um... Maybe they're just both nurturing people. Maybe their moms are alike. Um, but I don't have Kiki connecting to him in any kind of way. I don't even have her looking at him. Um, no, not at all. Nothing. Nothing as far as lovers is here. Friendship? No. But I got a lot of giggling. I got laughter. I got giggles, and I got this Empress connection. Um, and that could just be something that's nurturing up in them. Like, we, we want to make sure everybody okay. We want to take care of everybody. We want to make sure everybody have what they have. Um, that's how this feels. If they went to a party together, neither one of them would pass out. They would be the ones making sure everybody got their coat, purse, and foam I got them as being both mature um, with this nurturing um, energy about them both. Um, I don't know. It, it, it's, it's funny to me because when you put them together, it's nothing down the middle, but the outsides connect. So this is like, wow, you like Rocky Road too? Ice cream? Or... This is the person that will... These are the people who will stop a fight. These are peaceful people. These are nurturers. And I got a lot of laughter here. Let me just look into this a little bit more. As for Kiki, the answer is no. Hers is 100% no. He is... I got a little 80% no. But it's 20% of this friendship thing. I think he admires her. That's how he feels. Like, let me see what's in your closet type feeling. Oh, this shot out. Oh, yeah. Just some admiration here. There's nothing going on here. Um, he favors her, though. He likes her. Yeah. This is just some laughs. Some kiki. And if they happen to be in the same place... They, these will be the two that make sure everybody makes it home safe. There's nothing else going on there. Okay, so last but not least, you asked about this boyfriend. This boyfriend. Boyfriend what? Boyfriend who? Doesn't even feel like they go together. Based on what I'm seeing here. They don't connect at all. Yes, there is some secrets here. 
But there are some things that has came out and more is coming out. This relationship does not look good. This looks like exposure. Okay. Um, so let's go through it a little bit. Check into this boyfriend. Why are you guys disconnecting? Or why are you disconnected? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, he wanted to change some of her personalities. Okay, so off the bat, I got this cringy type feeling. Uh, saying, for instance, if she laughed too much, he'll bump her on the shoulder. Like, hey, too much laughter. They were not compatible. I don't think they're together at all. Maybe that's something that hasn't been announced yet, but got this cringy type feeling they're not compatible they're disconnected um she already seen red flags about him um he had an intent here and it feels like to mold her that's what it feels like feels like he wanted to mold her into something else someone more contained or quiet i just saw the zoom okay so however big she is in personality or however big she is period i then i saw the two fingers to put together he wanted to zoom her in that's not gonna work for her and not only that she's already molded by mom you wouldn't be able to change that i got some secrets here or some things that hasn't been revealed Let's see. Hmm. Whatever he was planning, he could not create it. Mm -mm. Whatever he wanted to do, he wanted to zoom her in. He wanted to, I wouldn't say bring her down, but he wanted to break her confidence. He needed to, he wanted to rise up and he wanted her to shrink. It didn't happen. It didn't happen. No. I do got some little finances here that's needed, but I don't have a financial motive. And maybe he didn't get that far. So let's just finish this. <clears throat> if they're not done, I have a breakup here in Pisces season. If they're not done, I got this big tower that comes in. Okay, so... The first thing is they're not compatible. She saw some red flags. Uh, got this little cringy feeling that he bumps her under the table and try to contain her or want her to control her composure. It's just something that he, he was working on her emotionally. And then the secret is there is some physical financial things that he could have been working on next. But he wasn't able to create that with her. He had a plan, but he will not succeed in this plan. And if they're not broken up now, I do have a separation in Pisces season. Some things has been revealed and confessed, and some things haven't. Let's see. Mm. She's left them on read a lot of times and texting and DM. The communication is even cringy for some reason. It doesn't feel comfortable. Um, let me tell you something else. Hmm. Well, it's a no for them. Ace of Cups is in reverse. Done. Settled. There's a tower here. Pisces energy on top of this. They're complete. They're done already. We always break up in the spirit before we do it on earth. Probably about six to eight months earlier. All your breakups was about six to eight months earlier. And for those of you who stayed past that um, closing out, then you probably had this, this multiple situation probably four and five times. Okay. Um, all right. So let me tell you one thing I noticed about her. She has not opened her heart up to anybody. Nobody has got that close to her. I feel like she's never been in love. I feel like she's never been touched. I feel like I 
I don't have a lot of affection and passion coming from her. I got the schedule, structure, routine thing going on inside of her. And I don't even know if men is her preference. I don't even know that. Because even for, you know, you asking me about a boyfriend, I got absolutely nothing as far as affection and passion and feelings and nothing. Even when, between mom and daughter, none of that. Her love journey is um, nowhere near open and nowhere near discovered. Okay? All right. So, hmm. <laughs> yeah. She hasn't lived. I don't know what that means. So, Look at the lyrics to somewhere. I said under the rainbow. It's over the rainbow, right? It's somewhere over the rainbow. That's whatever the lyrics is to that song. That may be that's the area that she have not experienced. That's the area that she's trying to stay away from. It's just the weirdest thing. So Look at the lyrics. Maybe they do, might do some help for you on that. There's a disconnect from her being under that rainbow and above it. That's one thing I know. Mom and, and daughter are like twins in the spirit. Friends, best friends, twins. And they protect each other. It's healthy to a certain point. She then came up on like probably about two or three repeated patterns where the relationship needs to be restructured, but they never do. They shut down and they never communicate or readjust the relationship. They just go right back into how it was. They got certain positions in each other's life and that's the way it would be. Um, Kiki does think about separating or releasing some power and control from her mom. But she ain't trying to go over the rainbow, so she wants to stay safe. And they come up with plans in this business to go eat and get back home before it's too late. They are, I feel like they're protected. But they protect themselves so much. So I would definitely say God gives them direction without a shadow of a doubt. Maybe they maybe they do have something to run from or fear or to be careful of. But um God's been granting them protection. Di it's more direction, which is protection. They have good direction on how to go to A, B, C, and even jump over the P and make it right back home without a scar. They're good at this. And it's like trick-or-treating for them. They just run out there, grab the candy, and come back. And they do it well every single time. There's a high regard for that. There's a respect right there for that. This boy, this man, he couldn't even get close enough to do the things that he plans. So, yes. Um, yes to the finances. Uh, I do believe that he was trying to get finances or more finances because she already shares. It's not a problem. She's a sharer. Charity is her middle name. That's what she do. That's not a problem. But I do got him desiring more out of her financially. Clout, I don't have anything here on trying to get clout. I got more of a focus on trying to get her to emotionally submit. And that's not happening. It's not going to happen. And her towards him, it's just not compatible. It's nothing there. Um. So... I believe they're broken up already in the spirit. You may see something in Pisces season to show that breakup. Um, but her sexual and lover's energy, it just feels like it hasn't been explored or discovered. It's just It just feels that way. So a lot of more living to do for her. But um, I like her. I like these energies. All right. Talk to you soon.